Good morning, YouTube. Josh is over there editing. In my robe. In his robe that moi got him for Christmas. Um, to, I, know, I, I absolutely love the robe. I know. I think you feel like Hugh Hefner. I am Hugh Hefner. Yeah. So last night I discovered an awesome recipe, and that was a Butterfinger protein shake with just two ingredients. So that's my breakfast, and then I have um, a fun little recipe that I'm gonna show you guys. Then we have a business meeting, and then we're gonna go kill it at the gym, and then we're just gonna keep on working. We have to clean this house. We have to clean this house. So if anyone wants to come clean our house for us, we'll pay you in protein mini muffins because... Protein. Hey, I'll clean our house from protein mini muffins. I feed you those already. I know, I'm gonna start only getting rewarded with protein yeah. mini muffins yeah. whenever I clean. So, that's first. So this uh, Butterfinger protein shake is super simple. So all it is is one scoop of vanilla. I'm a little biased, but our vanilla is the best tasting vanilla in the world, so make sure you have a good vanilla. And then we're gonna do one scoop of that. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of sugar-free butterscotch pudding mix. I know it sounds weird, but it tastes amazing. All right, so one tablespoon of this. There we have it, delicious Butterfinger protein shake. Now I'm making shredded wild turkey taco meat for tonight's dinner, and it's just about four pounds from one of the wild turkeys I got out in Nebraska. I'm going to cut all of the fat off, get all the little extra turkey hairs off of it, and then put it in the crock pot, and then that will do the shredding. You'll see what I do. Okay, so I filled my crock pot with enough water to just cover the turkey. I'm gonna cook it on low for about six hours, and then when we get back, I will shred it and add the seasoning. I'm about to order food from Taco Bell. No. Oh yeah. No. Now I'm gonna show them how to do it. Listen guys, no matter where you're gonna go, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's Taco Bell, McDonald's, there are healthy options. Just watch and learn. Check it out. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing well, how are you? Doing all right. Okay, I have a special request I was hoping you could help me with. Okay. Could I do a uh, grilled chicken power bowl, but with no dairy? With no dairy? And extra rice. So, yeah, so just no cheese and no sour cream. You wanted extra rice? Yes. Anything else? And extra chicken. Extra chicken? That's how you do it, guys. So, again, all I got was rice and chicken. So, I mean, it's awesome. Most people think that you have to avoid fast food. Now, obviously, packing your own food is going to be better. Hey, 848. Thank you. Um, but, again... That was a perfect example. Our business meeting went two extra hours. We didn't think it was gonna go that long, but it did. So we're kinda caught right now with our pants down. And uh, we needed to get some food. So we're going to Taco Bell. We just got a Power Bowl. Uh -huh. Thank you. We got a Power Bowl, double rice, double chicken, no dairy. That's how you do it, with extra pico. And here's your food, have a good one. Thank All right, you. check this out. You guys ready? Let's check it out. Let's see what we got in here. You guys ready? Okay. All right, so look at this. Let me show you. Okay. Look. No dairy whatsoever, extra rice. At least it better have extra rice in there. That does not look like extra rice to me. But anyway, super healthy. That's all you gotta do. Now I'm gonna shake it up. Shake her up. What? Will you drive back through? There's definitely not extra rice in there. I'm not driving back through. Fine. 
So we did just leave our business meeting talking about natural science um, products, just business plans for 2017. But for ordering at restaurants, especially when you're on prep, prepping for something like we are, we're getting ready for Bali and the Arnold and things like that. You don't have to avoid restaurants. You just need to be smarter about the foods that you're ordering. So for example, we uh, asked for them to not bring the bread to the table. Um, we drink only water. Now you can drink things like unsweetened tea, things like that. Just try to avoid like soda and pop as they are very acidic. And then when you're ordering, you just want to make sure that you're always ordering something that either has a mother or comes from the ground. So things like macaroni and cheese don't have a mother. And you can wash it. And, and you can wash it. So for example, I had ahi tuna steak and I had green beans and broccoli. Now, uh, Josh had like some Benedict, I don't even know, they were serving brunch. So you just need to make smarter choices when you are going out to restaurants. So again, if it has a mother, if it comes from the ground, or if you can wash it, and then ask them to, especially if you're really close to a prep, to not cook it in oil, to not serve it with the butter or the sauce. And if you get a salad, make sure that you have the dressing on the side. And all of these things really, really, really add up, especially when you're getting ready for something or you're just trying to stick on your diet, things like that. So hope that helps. We're on our way to the gym. Once Josh is done eating, we've got our- Show my dish, go ahead. Workout. Oh, show them your dish. Look at it. We got rice, chicken, and some beans yep. and a little lettuce. So obviously our meeting ran like four hours. So we weren't planning on staying there that long, but we had a lot of ideas flowing in. So now we are off to the gym. Once he's done eating, we've got our, I'm drinking my cotton candy, natural science pre-workout, the pump infusion. Um, um, if, okay, if you had to describe what the cotton candy pre-workout tastes like, how would you describe it? tastes like cotton candy. You know what I think it tastes like? <laughs> no, it's gotta have, you have to have an analogy. It tastes like cotton candy at the fair. I think it tastes sure. like spring break in your mouth. Spring break in your mouth, which we are coming out with a new flavor of pre-workout that we were discussing today, and hopefully it will be like a spring break, springy, summery flavor. So it should be really awesome. We currently have two flavors. We have cotton candy and peach mango right now, and they are stimulant free. So it is nice because you can actually sleep at night and your skin doesn't feel like it's crawling out of your body. So that's Oh my gosh, it's nice. so nice, guys. Seriously, if you haven't tried our pre-workout, try it. I will personally refund you if you don't like the flavor of it. Yeah, you should do that right now. Go order it right now. It's that um, good. The link's below. Once Hungry Boy over here is done, <laughs> go work out. I have arms today. Figured I'd film some of it. Um, Jim usually too, isn't too busy Sunday at 4 p.m. So film part of our workout. Um, Josh filmed a shoulder workout that is uploaded. We will link it, the magic link thing. And I'm really feeling my eyebrows today, I'm not gonna lie. I know all the girls can appreciate a good eyebrow day, so. They do look nice. They do. <laughs>
right, so our turkey is done and ready. Now I'm gonna shred it. Josh is gonna help. Yep. So while he's shredding, I am going to get the seasoning ready. So I just put a little water, I'm gonna get this hot, add this, and then add the meat, get it all coated up. All right, gonna make some turkey nachos. So we've got beans, chips, lettuce, gonna add our meat. And some salsa. So I'm gonna use this salsa that we got at a local hunting show. Halfway through I realized I didn't take a video. Mm, there you go. Well, it was really, really good. Baby. Really, really good. High five. You can kill it. I did kill it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. This is a turkey. There, you know, <clears throat> all you guys out there that are watching this that don't hunt, you know, that's okay that you don't hunt, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty cool whenever you harvest your own animal and then you eat it. Yep. And turkey nachos are delicious, so. I gotta tell you, when you do all the hard work to earn that animal, it tastes a whole lot better.